Well, hello, happy campers. We're gonna go out for a little adventure today, but I wanna recharge things like my laptop, my phones, my GoPro camera, uh, if I had a drone, that sort of thing. So what would I use to charge that? Well, this is too big. This would do a fantastic job. This is the Ugreen 1200 watt portable power station that we already reviewed. And it, uh, it's a pretty good product. Uh, I really like it. And, but it's just a little, it's a little bulky. Now this one, well, this is our Lion Energy Prowler. Uh, this is too small. It would do a good job of charging a phone. I like the light. Uh, it has all the various USBs and stuff like that, but it's too small. So what is the Goldilocks one that we need? Well, Booz RV sent us this portable power station. Uh, it's a prototype, and now we can talk about it. And it's a it's a pretty neat device. It's 240 watt uh, power station. So it's about an hour if you're pulling 240 watts out of it. Um, a lot of neat features on this. I will put a, a photo, but there are three USB outputs, uh, a power port, cigarette lighter, you whatever you want to call it. It has a light, and it doesn't show up so good here in the sun because we're outside in Texas, and it's really nice out today. Uh, and then it has a really slick display on the top here. It's six pounds, just over six pounds, would fit in the backpack, and it even has a 120 household outlet on it. So <clears throat> what can you use this for? So the three USBs, there's two USB-Cs, one 100 watt USB-C, and that's where I would charge up like a laptop, something that needs fair amount of power. And yesterday I ran my laptop off this thing all day. It's a MacBook Pro, 14 inch MacBook Pro. There's also a 30 watt. So like that's where I charge my GoPro batteries or if we had a drone, which we probably will soon. Uh, things like that, that USB-C 30 watt would be where I'd do that. And then a USB-A, you know, typical old fashioned USB. Uh, and that does 18 watt. So, you know, most of what you can plug into a USB-A, you can use that for. Uh, this power port, we can run our car refrigerator on. So, um, you know, we have one of those 12 volt coolers and this is probably the most efficient way to run that, but I could also run it on the 120 volt. Now this is only 150 watt. 120 volts, so you're not putting any high draw things on this. Uh, so what else could you run with this thing? And by the way, this thing is like a brick, you know, this thing is solid. Uh, I am very impressed with the build quality of this product, with the labeling, how clear and nice it is. I can read it without glasses on, which is saying a lot. Uh, it's a good product. I'm I'm happy with, has this little handle. <clears throat> What could you run on this? You would not want this if you are wanting a CPAP overnight. I, I just don't think this has enough power to run that. Uh, I could run our 12 volt cooler on this for about six to eight hours, maybe, maybe less. So let's say a Costco run, I'd probably bring this along, plug it into the 12 volt cooler, bing, bang, boom. Uh, and why wouldn't I plug it into the truck instead? Well, when I shut the truck off, the cooler stops working. Whereas this, the cooler would keep working. Uh, so it's kind of a Goldilocks. It's not as big as some of the larger power packs. It's not as portable as this little teeny one, but I mean, you can run all three outputs on this at the same time. So I could charge two phones and a laptop or, you know, charge up our GoPro and a phone, whatnot. So kind of a 
a neat little device. Uh, we have a full review at stresslesscamping.com, and that's where you'll also find tips, tricks, ideas, destinations, and RV discounts. So uh, hopefully we'll see you there. And I have a full written review of this, but a nice product, well-made, uh, and definitely has some good use cases. Well, with that, thanks for watching and happy camping.